today we're going to do an experiment to demonstrate Pascal's law of hydrostatic pressure. So here we've got a 50 liter glass jug of water. I'm going to try to break this using just this amount of water. Who is a little bit skeptical? Oh, there, I know there's some skeptics in the crowd. Okay. How many people here believe that this is going, like really believe that this is going to work? We have faith in physics. Let's see who wins, Katerina or the barrel? But wait, how did such a small amount of water break such a large barrel? Let's go back to the beginning to understand this. So what is hydrostatic pressure? You know how when you dive into a swimming pool or in the ocean and you go deep and you feel pressure in your ears pushing your eardrums? As you go deeper, you feel more and more pressure in your ear. And that's pretty intuitive, right? The deeper you go, the more pressure. And when I teach uh, pressure in my class, my students have no trouble understanding the correlation between depth, or another way to think about it is the height of the water above you when you're diving. More height, more pressure. But what they do have trouble really understanding and grasping and believing is that the height is the only thing that affects the pressure. Think about the Hoover Dam. They build a huge thick wall there to block the water from falling. That's not because Lake Mead behind it has so much water in it, which is pushing with a huge mass of water. In fact, if you took away Lake Mead completely and kept only a thin film of water right where the dam is, going as deep as the dam, you would feel the same pressure as with a whole lake. And another example is if you had a long, thin straw <laughs> extending 150 feet, the pressure at the bottom of the straw would be the same as if you dove in, a, in the ocean 150 feet deep. I started looking online for videos to try to find other people who've done demonstrations of this. And I actually couldn't find any. <laughs> and then I tried to look up how Pascal himself, who's the guy who thought about this experiment, Blaise Pascal, in, uh, in 1646, he came up with these laws. I tried to find out how he did it. And there was a lot of uncertainty as to how exactly he did it, and even if he did it at all. So here we've got a 50 liter glass jug of water. And uh, it's already full, as you can see. And on top of that, we have a hose that extends the 155 feet up into the top of Vine Hall. And here we've got the water that I'm going to use. One more thing that, uh, that you should know to understand this experiment is that when the pressure of the water goes down, it pushes down on top of the liquid, right? But that pressure is then evenly distributed throughout the whole volume of the water. So the entire jug will feel that same pressure. And in particular, every point on the surface of the glass will also feel that pressure. So it's basically we're channeling the pressure from this, uh, from this hose throughout the entire glass. And if we reach a high enough pressure, in theory, it should shatter. Even though it's a simple idea, there were a lot of technical challenges to overcome. For instance, as you pour water down a narrow tube, air bubbles can form in the tube, and then the surface tension of the water prevents them from escaping. Adding soap to the water breaks the surface tension, and this allows the air bubbles to travel up the tube more easily. Since this is the first time that we've attempted this experiment, there were some unforeseen surprises. The water would sometimes get pushed back out of the tube, this was caused by the air bubbles, which at first got compressed by the incoming water. And when they decompressed, like a metal spring, they pushed the water back up. And things don't always go as planned. Scientific results are almost always presented in their final polished form. And the struggles to achieve them are swept under the rug. It's important for young students to realize this, so they don't get discouraged when they inevitably hit a roadblock. Perseverance! Perseverance it will win in the end. Take two.